Hello and welcome to my video. Please do like and subscribe if you're not already. So today is the 5th of March and as you can see behind me we have the Landscape Inside Out exhibition at Gallery Oldham which is about to open and what I thought I'd do today is to take you quite swiftly through the exhibition just to give you a whistle-stop tour um, of it in the gallery uh, and hopefully I'll get some uh, some of the preview uh, into this video as well just as a start point and then I'll come back over time and share different aspects of it in more detail so without further ado I'm going to turn around as you can see it's a wonderfully sunny day and I'm sorry but my glasses have gone a little bit dark um, but uh, we are so thankful for the sun so anyway I'm going to turn around uh, and get started so I'm going to get going and take you through so this is uh, the introduction of the uh, exhibition uh, with our see our title that you can see uh, there and our intention with uh, this exhibition was really twofold. One was to bring the real feel of these landscapes, uh, the moors, the valleys and the woods, woods into uh, the gallery space through our paintings, but also to show something of the process. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you uh, some of that process related uh, work. And as you can see coming up on the right, and I'm going to move over so you can see it more fully, um, there's a drawing wall and as I move back, hopefully you'll get a sense of that. And that's over 140 drawings. Uh, the left are mine and the right side is Hughes. All of them done on location in different ways. In my case, with mixed media, uh, with charcoal and inks and paint and so on to really try and capture these different landscapes in our work. And those were all done on location. And then if I move over here, you see my monthly Marking Seasons project open so hopefully people can get glimpses of the pages of the different months. So each month I went out into the landscape, as you all well know, uh, and that's well documented uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, and those are the Marking Seasons booklets that I've used as influence in my work. And then I've got these uh, small concertinas for each of the landscapes uh, and uh, they're kind of self-explanatory and then I've got more of my uh, sketchbooks over there. And also we've been very fortunate, one of our friends has documented, Kieran Mystery, who's a uh, photographer, uh, is, has actually captured both on location uh, and in the studio uh, the development of the work. And I'm going to move backwards, we've got a beautiful day here, which is really fortunate, and sort of start now with the paintings themselves. And we have split the gallery into three areas uh, to reflect the different types of landscape. So this first one uh, are, is all about the panoramic views, the views of the valleys, uh, and my top three paintings up there. Uh, and also uh, this wall that's coming up on the right hand side that continues that idea of the valleys but also incorporating now my Edgelands work into uh, that uh, wall. My Edgelands being all about the uh, stone walls and uh, the planting and uh, metal and wires and uh, wood that all tangles around each other to form the patterns in the landscape, those lines, those field patterns. And very fortunately, the sun is shining and it's almost looking like the lines on the wall are field patterns, which actually they're not, they're just the light coming through. So that's the first area. And then as we go into the gallery space, this area is all about the woodland and my work being all about the spring and autumn woodland, those transition seasons. These are, these four here are my works, and uh, those are hues, also about the, the woodland. And then if we go over, I'll actually come back on myself to the, to the other wall here, because this continues the spring woodland work. And the sun is coming through very beautifully, if I move back on that wall, you'll see. Um, so those two uh, large paintings on the right are mine. Uh, one is the journey through trees, the one on the actual left, and the one on the right is breathing space. And then if I come over to this final woodland wall, the third wall, more about the autumn woodland and those rich orange and burnt yellows and gold colours. And the three black framed works here are my works, all on paper with mixed media. 
and the central one is uh, a particular resonance for me because that's the one that links with my Greyhound Tansy. So now I'll come round to this, Hugh also doing some videoing. <laughs> now I'll come round to the third area. And this area is all about the moors, the moorland. And I'll firstly come to this wall and we transition between summer and winter moors. So my four here are all about being up amongst the heather and the grasses in the late summer, August, late August, uh, where you get a real sense of the wonderful heather in its massive clumps and the wonderful grasses mixing with it. And one of the, the really interesting things is this idea of the very static heather against the movement of the grasses. And it's those textures and those feels, those marks of those landscapes that I'm trying to get across here. And then if I come over here, these four were done actually from one single drawing and memories of being amongst uh, the heather and up on Marsden Moor just prior to lockdown and prior to Covid. So at the end of the winter, prior to Covid. And it was a wonderful day and uh, blue skies and blue reservoirs. And then if I come over here to uh, the wall here, and this is a particularly uh, important quote for us from Sir David Attenborough. It seems to me that the natural world is the greatest source of excitement, the greatest source of visual beauty, the greatest source of intellectual interest. It is the greatest source of so much in life that makes life worth living. Um, and that really resonated with us as we've been so lucky to come through these landscapes during this time and develop these paintings. And these three paintings here are my three touching distances paintings. And they are all about the views of the moors from afar, from across the valley, from the residential streets. The central one uh, is touching distances, snowstorm beginnings. And I was out mark making and drawing during a snowstorm and the, the um, works from that were the influence for these, this painting. And then on the left there, you see the clarity of calm, which is uh, when everything has calmed down and there isn't this uh, dramatic weather coming in. And then the third one on the right there is all about, uh, it's called Chilly Morning, and it's all about those wonderful pink skies that came across during the early mornings during winter. And then finally, on the exit way through, we of course have got our names there and the title of the exhibition, but if I swing round, I have some small works, heather works, which are on paper, again mixed media, which are all about being amongst the heather. And these were done uh, in the studio based on my impressions of being out in the landscape. But these are on paper, as I say, and behind glass. So I hope that's given you a bit of a snapshot view um, and just a little bit of a whistle-stop tour of the exhibition.
So thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. One of the things I will do is I will come back and go uh, through each of those uh, areas of the exhibition and go up close and talk to you about the paintings themselves very specifically and the marks and, and the details of them and the titles and, and what they mean. But I thought in the first instance, as we are just opening today, that I would just take you on this tour around the gallery. To finish, I just wanted to share that there is a catalogue available which contains all of the paintings in the exhibition. It's currently available at Gallery Oldham to buy and it will soon be available via a link for you to purchase online and it will get mailed to you. All of my paintings in the exhibition are for sale. So thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.